First, take out of all items from the package. Package includes manual, monitor, strap, test wire, power cord, cigarette lighter, tea taps, bracket, antenna, camera. Pick up the bracket. Loosen the screw. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screw. You can tear off the bottom protective film and install it on the dashboard or windshield and pull down the buckle. Align the bracket with the hole on the back of the monitor and snap it in. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screw. Install the antenna on the monitor. Pick up the test wire. Connect one end of the two connectors of the test wire to the monitor. Connect the other end of the test wire's two connectors to the camera. Pick up the cigarette lighter adapter. Connect the other end of the test wire to the cigarette lighter adapter. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. The testing finished. Now disconnected all the wires. Pick up the power cord. Connect the power cord to the camera. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up and shows no signal. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the reverse lights, running lights, tail lights. The black wire is connected to the negative pole of the ground, reverse light, or tail light, or license plate light. The image appear on the screen. After the camera is powered on, the indicator light on the circuit board on the power line lights up. Step 4. The introduction of the button on the display. Look at the back of the monitor. There are five keys. A, V, up menu, down and power key. Press A, V key to switch camera video channel. Like my operation. Press the down key to turn on or off the guidelines. Like my operation. Press M key to enter the menu mode. Long press the menu key. Press the menu key to switch to the saturation. Press up or down key to adjust saturation. Press the menu key to switch to the contrast. Press up or down key to adjust contrast. Press the menu key to switch to the flip image. There are four modes normal image, mirror image, vertical normal image, vertical mirror image. Press the up and down keys to switch modes. Like my operation. Press the menu key to switch to the height and width. 
press the up key to adjust the width of the guideline. Like my operation. Let me demonstrate it again. Like my operation, press the menu key to switch to the pairing. Press AV key to switch CAM2 video channel. Power off the CAM1. Press the up key to quickly turn on or off the guidelines. Press the power key to turn the monitor on or off. Press AV key to switch camera video channel. Like my operation. Take out CAM2. Take out the power cord. Connect the power cord to the camera too. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the power source of backup light or tail light and the black wire is connected to the negative wire of the backup light or tail light. Press the red button. The monitor lights up. Now test the camera. Press the sensor light with your finger. You can see the IR light. There is an induction light. Let me demonstrate it again. Long press the M key to enter the menu mode until pair appears. Press the up button to enter pairing. CAM2 appears on the monitor to indicate that the pairing is successful. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom. 